Hey divers, Sarah here from Asul Unlimited, and right now we are quarantining in Sebayur Island, which is right next to the Komodo National Park here in Indonesia. Today I'm here to talk to you about the benefits of going diving with a side mount configuration. So first of all, what is side mount? Side mount is a special kind of harness that allows you to wear two tanks on your sides, hence the name side mount instead of back mount. This configuration has gotten very, very popular, especially in the cave diving world and as well as tech diving. However, there are a lot of benefits to diving with side mount configuration in your normal recreational diving in the ocean, open ocean. So for recreational divers, why would it be beneficial to go with two tanks instead of one? First of all, there is redundancy. So if you have any problems with one part of your equipment, you have double of everything. You have two tanks, you have two regs. It's two completely separate systems. Side mount allows you to have really great precision of your buoyancy. So you're able to go and really see all the different creatures along the reef because you can control yourself and get yourself very, very close to the reef without touching it. This is kind of an obvious point, but you have more air. So that means that as long as your bottom time doesn't call you up, you can actually do very, very long dives. You have double the air quantity. And because you have so much extra air, it's also a lot safer just because if someone does run low on air, you are pretty much guaranteed to have a lot to be able to share, to be able to do a full safety stop and come up safely. Another great thing about diving with side mount recreationally is that it really gets your skills tuned in so that if you do decide to go into cave diving or technical diving, you will not have to struggle with the buoyancy part of it. Buoyancy and side mount in the very beginning can be a little bit frustrating. It can kind of feel like you're back in your open water days where you're just not really sure where your body is. And so it's great to get a lot of practice in open ocean and just regular recreational dives so that when you do go to more technical diving situations, you are able to just focus on the technicality of what you're doing, different gases, confined space, versus the basics of figuring out where your equipment is. Moving into that side of things, side mount is really, really great versus double tank back mount because again, you have two separate systems. So over here you can see, I'll get a close up here, two separate tanks that are not connected by a manifold, which means that you can move the tanks one at a time. This is really helpful for places where Maybe you have a lot of stairs to go up and down. The entrance point is a little bit tricky, so it can, it can be a lot easier for you to manage getting in and out of the water. Side mount is not the easiest thing to uh, deal with when you're at the surface. It's a little bit awkward because the tanks do move and it's very, very heavy. So make sure you check out our video here to see kind of some techniques and different ways of getting into the water with side mount. The other great thing about side mount is that it is readily available in any place in the world. You do not necessarily need side mount specific tank valves, which you can see here. Although these are ideal and you would rather go diving with the long stem valves, you can go diving with regular tanks. So you don't have to have specialized equipment to be able to jump in the water with your harness and a tank or two. Speaking of just one tank, it is possible to go diving with side mount with only one tank. You need to set up your equipment a little bit differently, but it is possible to do and it's very, very comfortable, especially once you get used to just the freedom and control of diving with side mount. And finally, although this should never ever be a determining factor as to whether you learn something or dive a certain way, but side mount does look quite cool. It's really nice to use, especially for photography or filming purposes because side mount divers just look very clean. They have nice lines as long as the equipment is set up properly and they know how to dive in it, of course. But it's a really nice, sort of aesthetic if you're doing that kind of work underwater. Ways that you can get into side mount diving, okay? You can take the Paddy side mount specialty course where you will spend 
one-on-one -on -one time with an instructor who will help you to fit your harness and to move everything, get it perfect to your body, and give you those tips on the skills and things that you need to know in order to dive in the double tank um, configuration. This is a really smart option, especially if you can buy your harness, like if you know that you want to do side mount diving, you buy your harness first, and then you go and take the side mount course, because then your instructor will be with you one-on-one, -on -one getting your harness perfectly fit to your body. It is possible to fit the harness to your body without that help, but my goodness, you are going to save yourself so much time and frustration if you just do that step directly with an instructor with your own harness. If you don't have your own harness and you still wanna take the course, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you really ask a lot of questions to your instructor while they are going through harness setup and fitting, okay? Because later on, when you do have your own harness, you are going to need to fit it to yourself and you wanna know what your instructor is thinking and what they're looking at and how things move because the way that the harness is made you change one thing and it changes three other things. So you need to really understand how the harness is put together. Other than that, you just need to go diving, okay? It takes a handful of dives, depending on the person, 10, 15, or however many dives so that you feel comfortable in the new configuration and with your new buoyancy. All right, guys, so I hope that was helpful and that you're thinking of diving in side mount configuration and joining the two tank crew. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more scuba diving lessons. And if you have a question about side mount or any other paddy courses, configuration, setup, any of that, just hit us up in the comments below.